here are the base stations. It's uh, you can see it's set up on the wall at uh, our little desk in the kitchen, and um, basically it's a UHF and a low band radio, as you saw the antennas for it, computers and everything. So over here, there's a record player underneath that, and um, basically we use the desk mic for the low band radio and these hand mic, or the palm mic rather, for the other one. You can see, I don't know how well, probably not at all. Anyway, they're alphanumeric displays on the CDMs and the audio on these things will blow you out of the room. Um, anyway, they're pro totally programmable, stuff that none of the other radios actually do. If I was to push and hold, let me see, can you even see that? If I push and hold this button here, it's programmed to turn the extender system on and off so the uh, base station also has an extender and you can also have it in my case if I push it oop, if I push it quick is this still on? Eh, I don't have it programmed anymore I have to fix that anyway I have speakers all over the house for music uh, there's one underneath here and there's one in every room. There's one at the end of the hall. It's hard to see, but it's back there. Anyway, those speakers allow the um, not only the music to come over, but also the radio. So any radio call that comes over that the radio receives will uh, interrupt the music that's playing and play the, aud the audio from the radios instead. Another speaker right here. <clears throat> so anyway, that's how the system is set up. It's a base station. Obviously the antennas that you, I showed you on the roof earlier go to this. And uh, it's pretty happening. It works great. Um, you can see now, I got my portable right here. I'm going to set my portable on the channel to go out to my vehicle. So it's going to take the channel and um, it's going to take the, uh, it's going to use the repeater out of the vehicle to talk in here. I want to show you how the IDs show up. Um, let's see what channel. I think it was Newport. Okay, so this is on Newport. Now I'm going to transmit on my portable. Now since my portable is UHF, it's going to have to go go through an extender system, it's going to go out to my vehicle, watch. You can see 0001. Okay. So, this radio has four, four slots for an ID number, whereas even though most MDC's 1200s do have that, uh, a lot of the older stuff like the radiuses and the max tracks, they only have the capability of... Uh, of displaying two of those channels or two of those digits I should say so when you when you um, set up your radio for an ID I would recommend that you set it up as two digits instead of four this way it'll, it'll universally display on any Motorola radio that has a display and has the capability of uh, of transmitting or receiving an ID like that and that's that's what's known as MDC 1200 ID you can do a DTMF ID when you key up the radio. The radio will spew out up to a five or a six digit DTMF sequence. That's more universal with more radios. It's up to you. Um, it depends on how you want to use it. But like I said, they do more than just ID. MDC 1200 has the capability of doing a lot more than that. But we use it primarily for ID and for call alerts. Okay? So anyway, that's how the IDs look up on a radio. Uh, on a Max Tracker, uh, um,